Hey guys, it's Andrea. I hope you all are doing well and, have, and having a safe October month. I have uh, another collab for you guys and it is with Anya from Pink Sweets here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, this is my second time collabing with her and we have been talking on Instagram and DMing each other back and forth and she's just really great and I really love talking to her and she's so sweet. On her channel, she does um, Midnight Makeup Madness or something like that where she does makeup every night for uh, night owls and for the people who are morning people. They can watch it, you know, in the morning while they're doing their stuff too. But I uh, really love watching Anya and she does a lot of collabs and she just does amazing editorial looks. And she has a dog named Sophie and named Jeffree Star, which I think is awesome. <laughs> and she's also a big fan of Jeffree Star, so she does have a lot of Jeffree Star palettes and she does a lot of looks with Jeffree Star uh, products. But for the collab that we are doing today, we decided to do a black, white, green, and orange how, uh, color story and I'm like ew what are we going to do with that <laughs> I mean it sounded really fun oh yeah and purple can't forget purple so black white purple green and orange so that's five colors and we got to choose three palettes uh, a couple that we have bought recently which we both are doing the Warrior 3 palette and the Tribe palette. And we got to choose uh, a third palette of our choosing. And the palette that I chose is the Morphe 39S palette. We'll just open this up again. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And the paper just fell. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times, but this beautiful palette and I think it's perfect for the purples and you have a black and you have like an array of colors and then I just showed you this but this is the warrior palette and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it again <laughs> and this is the tribe palette and I'm definitely going to be using the greens in this palette so the rules for this collab, I say rules because is there such thing as rules when it comes to makeup? Not really in my opinion, but fun rules. <laughs> so the rules for this collab is it's um, like a Halloween glam type thing. It's not really like a Halloween mask or costume or anything like that, but um, just like a fun Halloween look like glam without it being an actual costume but I am going to do like some fun things around my eyes with glitter and another rule is we have to use glitter so yeah I'm really excited to get started and I'm just going to be going to dive right in and I don't know why but I am like stuttering really bad for some reason I already primed my eyelids I actually prime have been priming my eyelids with my foundation and setting them and I've really been liking doing that lately and it lasts all day and it doesn't crease throughout the day and yeah I just I've been loving doing that so black white I don't know what I'm gonna do for the white oh I could use Jeffree Star's drug lord for something but let me just figure out the colors and so it's black, white, orange, purple, and green. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let's just get started. Always misplaced stuff. I was thinking of doing like a vampy sort of look, like a vampire kind of look. I've been going through Pinterest and trying to get ideas. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this green from the Zulu palette. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm actually, okay, I have an idea. I know exactly what I'm gonna do now. I can't wait to see what Anya does, as always. She really does do amazing looks. And Juvia's place always blends like a dream. I don't really have any spooky stories to tell because I don't really, to be honest, I'm not a big Halloween person. And I've just, I've never experienced anything like that, thankfully. <laughs> I just don't, I don't mess with it, I don't, no, I don't allow anything that would attract something like that in my house, so. And that was my mirror. to go in with uh, this shade right here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the names. I'm sorry I'm not <clears throat> talking much. I just don't. This week has been kind of, you know, chill. I've just been chilling at home and I have the whole house to myself. So that's been a lot of fun for me. I mean, and I don't do anything crazy. I just I like the quiet and I like to sit back and relax and do my own thing. I did play with the Jeffree Star and Morphe collab palette yesterday, and I really hope it wasn't the palette. I think what happened was I got setting spray in my eye, and it started stinging my eyes like really, really bad. And for some reason, like even when I 
wiped off all of the makeup afterwards, I, and the eye, nah, my eyes were still stinging. But then after a while, they stopped stinging and I put the makeup on again with the same uh, eyeshadow palette. And it, my eyes were still stinging. And so I was like, Ugh, I hope it's not the palette. And my eyes, I don't know if you can tell, my eyes um, are stained from the ColourPop uh, eyeliner and the Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. But I don't think Jeffree would come out with an eyeshadow palette like that. So I don't know if... I just had like a really bad reaction. I don't know if it was from the spray or just the the palette itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush, a flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette and oh no that's sparkly I thought that was a matte black hmm you know what we're just going to roll with it and see how it goes and I am taking a lot because you'll see what I'm doing But yeah, I just really hope that, oh yeah, and the sparkles are kind of going away anyway. I hate it when they put shades in there like that, like, oh, here's a color that's supposed to look matte black, but there's a bunch of sparkles in there that's going to go away anyway. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know why they do that. Now, that is something that really bugs me. I don't care if they put a pressed glitter in the palette because you guys know I love love glitter but I hate it when they put a matte black in the palette but yet there's a bunch of sh useless shimmer in there and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid Okay, now, hmm. no, that's more blue. It's kind of purple, but it leans more towards the blue side. I'm going to take my Morphe palette again, and I'm going to take this shade, this really pretty jewel toned purple. Ooh, actually no, 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 I have an idea. So I'm going to take my Stila Glitter and Glow in Vivid Amethyst. I've been meaning to use this. I'm going to put that on the center of the lid.
I am going to do my face and the other eye and I'm going to come back and um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the orange because I do have an idea for the orange. Okay, this is the look so far. And I'm actually really liking how it's turning out, but we are going to go into the Warrior 3 palette. And I'm going to take that same brush again and I'm going to go into the purple. And I wanted this look to be, like I said, really vampy and really smoky. I'm going to drag the purple. Okay, well now it's a pink. I forgot that that, okay, don't get that in your eye. I forgot that that purple is kind of more like a pink. And that's not what this look calls for. So, I'm going to go in again with my Morphe. 39S palette, and I'm going to take this shade right here. One of my favorite shades in the palette. And I'm going to run that underneath the lash line. And I am going to take that down kind of low because like that, like I said, I want it to look very vampy and very smoky. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take that purple, that purple shade. I hate it when they do that though, when they make it look like it's purple, but it's not, it's like pink. Now I'm going to go in with, is this green or gold? That's gold. You know what, I am going to go in with this one, with this shade right here. It's just so pretty and I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. It's like a greenish gold. Okay, now I am going to go in with my Jeffree Star Rug Lord. And what I like to do sometimes is I like to run it through the outer. Just to give it like a a pop of highlight in there. Ooh, at first I didn't know how I would think about it, but now I really, really like this look. 
I'm going to make little freckles. Cool. I like that. Now for the orange, I'm going in with the <laughs> Warrior palette again, and I'm going to take that orange with a big fluffy brush. And believe it or not, I'm going to use it as like a blush contour. <laughs> Now for highlight, I know I want green, so go in with my Moonchild Glow Kit, and I'm going to take Lucky Clover, Now for the glitter, I'm going to take my Lemonhead um, Space Paste in, I know this is a Space Jam, and I can't read, but it's the one with the, I think this one is um, Midnight Society, and this is what that looks like. It has a bunch of like moons and stars in it. I I'm going to get some moon and stars out if I can 
find any. Uh -huh. And I'm placing the stars as like a, as I would a highlight. You know what? Let me actually put a highlight over the brow bone. Same highlight. Actually gonna go in with this highlight because it's more pigmented. are so pretty. with these colors I'm getting needle juice vibes. All right you guys that is the eye look. Actually, you know what, with the white, I do want to add more, more glitter. That's better. See the stars in there? And the moons? If I can find any stars, I wanted to put some in the inner corner as well. the face and eyes now for the lips for the lips I'm going to do black
I love this look. I didn't think I was going to do I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, what am I doing right now? But I love it. Now I'm taking um, Lime Prime's Diamond Crusher in Black Unicorn. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, I just love this look. Yeah, I'm totally getting like Beetlejuice vibes. With the black and the green and the purple and then like the heavy contour and stuff. But yeah, I love the glitter. I love the lips. Oh my god, I'm terrified of the setting spray now, but... <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished and final look. I'm really really loving it so far so this is like a Halloween glam type of look you can use the glitter you don't have to use the glitter I know that the lemon head is a little bit expensive um, there are like of course different alternatives to glitter uh, ColourPop has a lot of glitter I do use a lot of the ColourPop glitters but, and I know the Diamond Crushers are a little bit expensive as well. I would look at TJ Maxx for the Diamond Crushers because TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I think Mar Marshalls might carry them. I'm not sure, but TJ Maxx definitely carries some of the Diamond Crushers and a lot of the Stila glitters. I got the Vivid Amethyst really cheap at uh, TJ Maxx, so I would definitely check there and... I know Makeup Revolution is having a sale right now because of Halloween and everything and they have a lot of glitter and they're really, really affordable. So you guys should definitely go check out Anya. I just love her channel and I love collaborating with her and she also does the Midnight Madness thing, the Makeup Madness thing um, with uh, Demi Knobloch and those two ladies are just really fun to watch and I love love watching Anya and you guys should really check her out and I will leave the links to her social stuff down below and I hope you guys have a great spooky month whatever month <laughs> so and be safe and um, if you like this video please leave a thumbs up comment down below if you want to please subscribe subscribe of course you don't have to but I would love having you and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you all, 